Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Just before the video starts, just a quick introduction. Um, this video is from a live stream that I did on YouTube. But I want you guys to follow me on twitch.tv slash shotgun or with an on the bar at the end to see me live stream in the future. And just a backstory quickly is that in the chat, one of my subscribers asked, well, how come you never made a video on Combine, on the map Combine and how to play it? And lo and behold, Combine came up in the next map rotation. So I was like, all right, let's do this. And I went try hard. And this was the results. So enjoy, guys. And I hope you learned something from it. So I'm using the old faithful CUDA with extended mags and suppressed. And you're going to see my opening rush. Very important. What I do is I run straight down the middle. And I catch them off guard. So I'm really sliding aggressively, pushing hard to get there before them. So I can catch them off guard. And I look to my left when I reach here and my right. And they, you're always going to encounter one or two, maybe three people there. So you get some nice skills at the start. Jump across, take him out, and push to the left side. I always push to this side, but right now I'm just regaining my health. And now I'm going to flank them. So I check the area properly, using my peripheral vision, look at that. And now I'm coming from behind. So if there's anyone remaining here, I can easily flank them and kill them from behind. And I take him out, just like that. So now I'm checking the door, and I'm going upstairs now. I'm just going to peek it, look. Peeking it, watch this. I kill one, I get some hit markers on the other, and I move away because he has a sniper. So of course, you don't want to challenge a sniper twice, because on the second time he will kill you, most likely. I jump up here, and I shoot them, taking my time. And you can see I'm playing a bunch of snipers, you know, the subscribers are watching me, and I was just enjoying it. So this is a mini power position here, it's a mini power position. So you just head glitch behind here, or you peek back here. You want to be very careful, don't push this area too hard, otherwise you will die. And don't stay here for too long. And if there's anyone on top here, you jump at an angle. And you take them out easy like that. Don't forget the hip fire. Because you're in very close range encounter there. So I have my sentry gun already. And here's another mini power position. You see by this truck. Just behind it, you'll see it in the future as well. In the video. And now I'm just checking for the enemies. And you can see my teammates spawning behind me. So of course, the enemies are going to spawn ahead of me. Which I'm pushing to the left. Because the left side is a better area to push. And I'm pre-aiming, looking, checking, and coming through here. Now here's a main power position. You see this little room here, where I am? That's the main power position of the entire map. So you, why is it the main power position? Because they have to come through two choke points. And also behind you, there's another choke point if you play it properly, this big window here. And you can play around it, you have a nice escape route. Like I said, you're a ninja, ninja, and you need to have an escape route. So now I'm just flanking them from behind. And that's a better thing to do. Rather than face them head on, always try to flank if you could and shoot them on their backs or the sides. And your chances of survival will increase a lot by playing like that. And get drop shotted, boy. You see how drop shotting actually is helpful, guys? Use it more. I keep saying that. Drop shotting works in this game. So now I'm just pushing down the middle of the map because I know they're going to be pushing from the left to the right. And now I go straight back in the power position. Because look at the minimap. My teammates are behind me. So he's going to spawn here and watch the power of this. So I'm just checking his choke points. Watch, they can't do anything. They're choked up there. I'm at an angle, they're directly facing me. So it's going to be easier for me to shoot them than they to shoot me. So you see how it works? And now when I pick a few of them off, like I've taught you before, don't stay there too long. You just play around in the power position, in and out, in and out. So flanking again, boom, taking out just like that. I get the easy wraps. And now you can see me just playing around with it. Watch, again. Simple, taking them out while they're pushing in. How easy is that, guys? So, you know, you, we want to do that in the future. And look at this hesitation there. You see, I talked about hesitation in the past. I hesitated there. And I pushed too aggressively there. I should have chilled back a bit and move away from there. But lo and behold, we push on as always. And again, back in the power position, close encounters, I hip fire. Do you see that? Hip fire if you lose track of them. And in close range situations, are extreme close range situations. You will win the gunfight if you hit fire. And in the future, I'll be posting more videos on combine against stronger enemies. And you'll see it works the same way. It's very powerful, the strategy and guide. It works against good or bad players. So either way, just learn it and actually practice it. And you'll see a difference. So now I'm pushing back into the mini power position. You see where I'm always navigating, always on the left hand side and to the power positions and always flanking on this map. And look. Watch this part here. This is a mini power position right here. It's a very good mini power position. And that's because you have sights on the major choke points in the game. 
and you're behind a powerful head glitch and you have sights on a wall run as well so again pushing the left side of the map and to the back just taking this guy out always be careful because that's one of the main spawning areas there as well so always check always pre-aim always peek and always have your heads on while you're navigating now watch, I'm just checking to see if they're spawning on the sides and always navigating on this side of the map. Now the other side isn't bad, but I don't recommend wall running. You will die, high chance of dying by wall running. Back in the power position and look, take him out already. Get my sentry gun and look, taking out the snipers. Now remember I told you to analyze always what type of enemies you're playing against and always adapt. Well, I know they're snipers, so obviously they're gonna gravitate to be on top of there. So I always check it. And also be careful of trip mines and shock charges with snipers. So the game ends there, the tier to more glitch. 59 KD, I hope you guys enjoy that. Please do leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And do share the video if you want to see me grow. Take care guys, bye.